present problem is of gate uh, 2010 and it is uh, from the area of weight propagation on uh, in dielectric with normal incidence. Uh, the prob we can read out the problem here uh, and then uh, we will give the solution to this problem. A plane wave having the electric field component E I 24 cos theta by 8 T minus beta Y A Z and the traveling in the free space is incident normally on a lossless medium with a mu is equal to mu naught and epsilon equal to 9 epsilon naught which occupies the region for Y greater than or less than 0. The reflected uh, magnetic field component is given by this. So, uh, in this uh, problem, what we find here is that uh, there are two media. One is the free space with uh, mu naught and epsilonite. The other media is. Uh, with the lossless dielectric uh, having dielectric constant of 9 epsilon naught and uh, this is the boundary this is the boundary of the two regions now uh, we can uh, really uh, see the uh, electric field component which is given here the EI component is 24 cos of 3 into 10 per D minus beta Y. What we observe here that the direction of propagation is plus Y is the direction of propagation of the wave uh, and the electric field component has uh, component has uh, a field component in Z direction. Z direction. There is a field component in Z direction because of this. So, what we have to find, the value for EI is given and we have to find the reflected uh, magnetic field component. So, First, we should find the incident uh, magnetic field component that you could find through that we can write HI could be found from E, the electric field, that EI over eta naught, the free space intrinsic impedance. By this relation, uh, we can find out the value for HI, and uh, we have already seen this equation is 24 cos 3 10 to the power 8 t minus beta y a z. Now this has to be eta naught is we can write 120 pi. So this comes to this equation comes to uh, this comes to 5 pi. So this would be cos of all these factors A Z divided by 5 pi. So this is the value for H i. Now the H i is known, uh, we have to find the value for H r that is the reflected magnetic field component and uh, to find that we have to uh, make use of the Ref relation for reflection coefficient HR over HI is the reflection coefficient for the magnetic field and this is related to eta 1 minus eta 2 over eta 1 plus eta 2 and this we could write here because eta 1 is uh, free space so this could be written as mu naught over epsilon naught. The the second part, the mu naught over nine epsilon naught over again mu naught 
over epsilon naught plus mu naught over nine epsilon naught. Now this could be simplified. This equation can be simplified, and uh, we could uh, write here. Uh, this comes to after translation. This is root nine minus root one over root nine plus root one. That comes to three minus one over three plus one. That is two over four equals to one by two. So this comes to one by two. So if this value is one by two, uh, we can find now H R one by two of H I, and H I is uh, known to me, known to us. Uh, we can write here the value for half of uh, this this H I. It will be one over ten pi cos of 3 into 10 to the power 8 t plus beta y ax. That means the magnetic field is in the ax direction. In the in the ax that coordinate x coordinate in the coordinate x and The it is propagating in. Uh, this is this is it's a probability reflecting reflective field is propagating as in minus y in the negative y direction because this is positive y direction the reflected wave will go into the negative y direction. So that is why the term three to the ten t plus beta y is here. Thank you.